to step back mm -hmm. in time a couple of decades because reading the biographies of these two remarkable individuals, and they're the la they seem the last people that would end up going down this path. Bill comes, Bill Mas William Masters comes across as uh, a young man with one of the most brutal fathers I've ever read a description of. A, a, a truly cruel man who basically abandons him as a teenager, dumps him in New Jersey, and bye bye, see you later, you're on your own, kid. And uh, and Ginny, John, Virginia Johnson comes across like a, a young woman whose mother is projecting all her own failures and shortcomings and saying, go out and live the life I wanted. I don't want to hear what you want out of life. Just go out and do exactly what I wanted. And both of them seem to have, in their own you know, individual ways, decided to completely rebel against their entire backgrounds and become something else altogether. Is that well, fair? I, yeah, fair? absolutely. You know, Virginia particularly, uh, I think, is in a way, and I, I'd love to hear it. Actually, Gay and I have talked about this. Uh, uh -huh. um, I think she's a lot like women today. Um, I wouldn't embarrass my college son over to my left here, but uh, fr from what I can see well, as, go his, ahead, embarrass him. as his enfeebled father, I do think that young women today um, do identify with Sex in the City, the Carrie Bradshaw, but they, Virginia always saw herself as an independent-minded woman. She wouldn't necessarily, uh, she was savvy enough not to talk about sex in certain companies, but she lived a life that she wanted to lead. Um, she married three times or four? Oh, oh, <laughs> three officially, four As rats. she told Gay, who's counting? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so I find her kind of a, a woman ahead of her time. I, I recently was on the phone with her and I said, forgive me for saying this, but a couple of people have said to me that you're a great old broad. And that's a horrible phrase on one level. But in, level, in a sense, that's what Virginia was. She was kind of like a, a woman in an all man's world. She, she kind of set her own agenda in, yes, on but, her own but, terms. But when feminists approach her in the 70s right. and say, come on board with us, she bristled. Well, you know what? Because our generation was filled with cant, with the ideology of feminism. And I think, you know, even when you look at the history of, of feminism in the 70s, there was the pro sex. Uh, early part of that movement, and then then the one the part of the movement w which you could argue was anti-sex. I think Virginia was a, a woman from a different generation that looked at women our age as too filled with the cant of an ideology of feminism because on mass our generation w was breaking the barriers. She broke a barrier individually. She, so she, as she said, I forget the exact phrase, I never marched with the ladies, I think is what she said. She but was, she lived the life of a real feminist, no doubt about it. She was very